Tonight, breaking 8 News Now from the 8 News Now investigators. We have this news just in. An election worker says she was attacked. Our own Vanessa Murphy is looking into her claims. A bloody nose and a battered knee. Brandy Lapriori says she was attacked while waiting at this bus stop on Eastern and Bonanza on the evening of October 26th. Do you believe he targeted you because you were an election worker? I think the only reason he started the conversation was because he saw my work shirt, yes. This bright orange t-shirt, which she says she won't wear in public again. And it says, don't lose your voice, and it says vote. She tells the 8 News Now investigators a man waiting for the bus tried to talk politics with her. He was like, so did you see the podcast with Joe Rogan and um, Donald Trump? I was like, nope. I'm not interested. I said, I don't even talk about politics at work. It's not something that we discuss. <laughs> then he started asking me questions about the our Constitution and my constitutional rights. I'm like, look, this doesn't have anything to do with what we were talking about before. He's like, well, well you said you're a know-it-all. And I said, I never said anything of the sort. And I asked him to leave me alone multiple times, and he wouldn't do it. And then she claims it turned physical. He, like, walked towards me and chest bumped me, and then he started just punching me just punched me in the face twice and then I hit the ground and he stepped on my knee. She says he then boarded a bus and she called 911 and was taken to the hospital. Metro police are investigating, but it turns out the guy also called 911 to say La Priori attacked him. I've never seen him before. I haven't seen him since. Um, so would never have been any reason for me to do anything like that to him. In Nevada, it's a felony to threaten, intimidate, or harass an election worker. The law, which went into effect last year, specifies the crime doesn't have to happen at a polling place. It can happen anywhere. I hope he does have some consequences that he will have to face. Clark County telling the 8 News Now investigators, we can confirm that an incident did occur regarding a temporary election worker at a bus stop. We are still Still looking into this isolated incident. 8 News Now has learned the Secretary of State's office is also looking into the matter. As for Lapriori, she says she bought this electric bike so she doesn't have to ride the bus again. And she hopes her story is a reminder. Election workers are just trying to do their jobs. I hope that people realize that you, you don't need to target people just because of what they do. Reporting in Las Vegas, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Now, the 8 News Now investigators did reach out to Metro Police to learn the latest on the case. We are waiting for an answer. As soon as we know more, we will keep you updated.